John Gill's Exposition of the Bible Text The enemy said, I will pursue, I will overtake, I will divide the spoil, my lust shall be satisfied upon them, I will draw my sword, my hand shall destroy them. Exodus 15 9 Commentary The enemy said, That is, Pharaoh, who repented that he had let Israel go, an emblem of Satan, who when the people of God are taken out of his hands is uneasy at it, and seeks to recover them again into his possession, or of Antichrist breathing out threatening and slaughter to the saints, the reformers departed from him, and delivered out of his captivity. I will pursue, I will overtake, I will divide the spoil, which words being expressed without the copulative end, show the passion he was in, the hastiness of his expressions, and the eagerness of his mind, and being delivered in such an absolute manner, I will, I will, etc. denote not only the fixed resolution and determination he had made to pursue, but the assurance he had of carrying his point, he thought as surely, as he pursued he should overtake, and overtaking should conquer, and get into his hands all the riches the people of Israel went out of Egypt with. My lust shall be sithified upon them, both his lust of covetousness to possess himself of the wealth the people had of their own, and which they had spoiled the Egyptians of, by borrowing of them, and also his lust of revenge and cruelty upon them, as appears from what follows. I will draw my sword, out of its scabbard, and sheathe it in them. My hand shall destroy them, which he made no doubt of, they being an unarmed people, and therefore, though numerous, were unable to engage with him, and defend themselves. See Revelation 6. 14 7. 14 19. 19 20 21, and with it compare, Isaiah 10. 11 14.